Hello everyone. I'm Charles from American Life 365. Today I want to share you how to fix a garage door that randomly closes and opens again. The garage door can be closed most of the time, but randomly it opens automatically after the garage door is fully closed. This makes me very nervous and worried. I can't leave until the garage door is fully closed. Today, I finally solved the problem, the garage door closing and opening randomly. The random closing and the opening of the garage door occur randomly. It doesn't happen every time. Random failures are more difficult to solve. In order to solve this problem, I experimented repeatedly and recorded each time. Let's see if there is any problem or abnormality. In order to solve this problem, I turn it on, off repeatedly, and uh, you can see everything works fine. <coughs> Just when I'm about to give up, suddenly this time I caught it. The garage door returned instead of closes. I watched this breakdown sequence over and over again. Returns when the garage door is closed. The garage door returns without obstacle under the door. I looked the video over and over again. Seems everything is fine, just with wrong result, not working, not closes. Of course, the first troubleshoot is to eliminate is the garage door safety sensor and to ensure this sensor is working. If the sensor light is green, it means there is no problem with this sensor. Then look at the other sensor. If it is orange, there is no problem with this sensor either. Then I block it to simulate there was an obstruction under the door and the garage door should return. No problem. I went back to look at the shuttle and the garage beam rails and to compare the difference between working and not working. Looking side by side, I finally saw differences. When the shuttle is working normally, there is an action of pushing the beam rail upward when the shuttle slides to the end. When there is a problem, the shuttle slides to this position and does not push the beam rail upward. It seems it is pushed, but not able to push and then returns. This means the motor cannot push the beam rail upward when it encounters a large resistance and returns. This is designed for garage door motors to protect the motor by returning if it encounters greater resistance. From this, we can conclude that the garage door can be closed by pushing it up.
if you cannot push it up, go back. This means the end point of the beam rail is too low and the distance between the beam rail and the ground is too low, causing the garage door and the connecting road to be squeezed, causing great resistance to the garage door motor. The wear marks left on the rail also confirm the beam rail and the ground is too low, causing the garage door and the connecting road to be squeezed. Then there are two ways to solve this squeeze. One is, is to slightly raise the connection point at the beam rail and the wall or slightly lower the garage tire road. Lowering the tire road distance can be achieved by repositioning the tire road screw holes, but the tire road repositioning is often adjusted too much. At least it should be more than two inches. In this case, it is just a small adjustment it is best to slightly move the connection point between the beam rail and the wall. Okay, let's slightly raise the beam rail and the wall connection point. Very easy. First, remove the anti-falling ring lock. Then take out the link road. From the image, you can see the link holes of the beam rail and the link holes of the wall are not aligned. Obviously, the link holes of the beam rails are about one third inch high than the link holes of the wall. Let's remove the connector on the wall and raise it a little bit. Then I'll fasten the screws. Use an electric drill to drill a small hole so that the screws can be fastened easily. Use an electric drill to drill a small hole so that the screw can be fastened easily. If the screw slips, then you can use an X and to hit it twice and to make it easier to fasten the screw. Finally, put the NT4 rings back on. I can also add some lubrication grease, so I can buy some grease or Vaseline lubrication to reduce the friction resistance. It can make the motor works more easily.
Okay, let's give it a try. Try this several times. You will find that noisy in the garage is also much less. Then clean off excess lubrication. Now the problem of garage door randomly opening and failing to close when closed was resolved and solved without spending a penny. At last, don't forget to test the safety sensors. The garage door will need to be returned if it encounters an obstacle. Okay, that is all for this video. If you like hundreds of the videos on our channel, please subscribe to this channel, like, share, to encourage us to make more videos to share American life. Thank you.